just don't know how you could do it. How you could make that decision. I owe the Isle more than this. You're right. Of course you're right. I'm such an ass. I should know better than to second guess you like this. Oh, why am I getting on your back about it? You did what you had to. It's just... All this death. Never mind. Let's just stop there before I do more than shove my foot in my mouth like an idiot. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Indeed. Indeed.
What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. No, you do not. I would have been informed if someone was expecting a visitor. Who? Perhaps revered Father Eirik will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. Revered Father? I've never heard of this. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. The urn is nothing but a legend. I do not know who Brother Jenna TV is or what he says. However, I'm sure people can convince themselves of anything. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it were some sort of zoo. Ask and be on your way. We keep to ourselves. We see no need to announce our presence to the world. It's more peaceful that way. Haven's always been here. My family knows no other home. Father Eirik is our spiritual leader and guide. He's in the Chantry giving a sermon. You should not disturb him. Then perhaps you should return to the Lowlands. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. They are hiding something. Tis obvious, is it not? Where you've been? Were you up? Were you down? Chasing rabbits round the town. Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. Tell us, tell us where you've been. They say your mother is Flemeth. Oh. I, I finished. Quiet enough village. Looks can be deceiving, of course. Just like you wanted. Yes? What are you doing? That's private!
We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the Holy and Beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... Ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven so far? Perhaps. But staying hidden means staying protected. And we must protect Haven and our charges at all costs. We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. Something is coming. That is no fun! You will learn to fear me! Excellent! <laughs> sent you to finish it. You don't know how glad I am to see someone who isn't from this village. I... Oh, the leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. <coughs> Thank you. That... That feels much better. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. The Arl is sick. Will he live? Politics never did anyone any good. The Arl is a noble soul. But the ashes... The ashes will surely cure him. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what the key is. Ivric wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. Ah, oh, good. Help me up here. Ah, ah. I'll try not to slow us down. 